Hi, welcome back to Explore Seattle and happy Memorial Day weekend. It's been a couple of months since we've been quarantined and Washington State is in phase one, which means that all the parks and recreation areas are open. Today, we are back at Kelsey Creek Park, but not at the farm. Instead, we are going hiking. It's sunny today, it's beautiful outside, and you are absolutely invited to come. So I parked in the main parking lot again. There's not a lot of people here today, which is great because honestly, we are still considered in quarantine. And instead of going to the farm, we are headed right here into the trail. Hiking is one of the major reasons why we love living in and around the Seattle area. I mean, the landscape here um, in Washington state, it's just beautiful. Oh look, there's my family. Looks like they've got a head start. It's sunny and quite toasty today. However, Seattle never gets unbearingly hot and humid. It's very pleasant here during the summer. There are many trees, as you can see, providing good shade. To our right is Kelsey Creek Farm, which we visited in the last episode. Unfortunately, it is closed for the quarantine. It's always exciting heading into a new hiking trail because you never know what where the road leads to or what you will see. We are going to cross this narrow bridge now. I am assuming that the creek beneath the bridge is Kelsey Creek. It's what? It's beautiful. Beautiful? It yes, is. it is. Oh, those are, I think those are fresh berries. They look like fresh blackberries. So this place is also known. So this is um, East Bel Bellevue and it's also known for its berry bushes. And in the summer, we actually come out here and pick wild berries a lot. It's really fun. On this particular trail, you will see many diverging roads. It's also windy and lushly green and makes a unique and pleasant experience. In 1921, Kelsey Creek Farm was purchased by Mr. and Mrs. Dewey. Prior to that, the land was just a dirty logging ground. The Deweys cleaned it up, built a barn, and started a herd of dairy cows. And to pay for the farm, the couple sold dairy products to Eastside residents. During the Depression, the Deweys sold the land to the Haller family, who then sold it to the Michaels family in 1942. The Michaels are actually the ones who built the second barn on the farm. Later, the Bellevue City Council purchased the farm and in 1969, the farmhouse became the headquarters of the Bellevue Parks and Recreations Department. And we are thankful for that because now everyone can enjoy this beautiful dynamic space. Looks like we're out of the woods now, yay! That was quite an uphill hike. Now we have no idea where we're going and I love that. Well, we are definitely on a long and windy country road that has no end. So we 
we'll see how it goes and where it leads us. Hopefully to our car. Looks like the road winds back into the forest area leading us down the hill now and to where we came from. By the way, we ran into a long black snake. Not sure what kind it was. It was just hanging out in the middle of the trail. So please be careful. Of course, kids do funny things. Our girls brought their Barbies and are now giving them a bath in the middle of the hike. The road is also muddy from the rain, so you also want to be careful about that. Tired? Are you tired? Did you have yes. fun? Yeah. Yes. You have fun? Yes. Mm -hmm. We too. are back where we started and we had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for visiting Explore Seattle again. Please subscribe and leave a comment and we will see you next time.